Today, let's work on a yoga practice to help improve posture. As a yoga teacher, I can't help but notice people's posture everywhere I go. So if I'm out in town, if there is a crowd of people, I notice when someone is rounded. I notice when someone is not only rounded, but also have their head in this forward kind of position. And it's happening more and more frequently. I would say it's kind of like an epidemic of our time because more and more we're spending time on screens. It could be a computer screen where you're, you know, rounding like this and reaching your head forward to see your screen. It could be your smartphone. It could be a tablet. All of these activities have us rounding our shoulders forward and even reaching our heads forward. So the thing is that if our posture is already starting to be affected in this way in our 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, over time, it's only going to get worse. The weight of your head starts to exaggerate this rounding and this forward head movement. And when you're in your 60s or 70s or 80s or 90s, you're really gonna have some posture issues, um, pain associated with it, because when we're in this rounded position like this, it gives a lot of tension in the shoulders and in the neck. You can start to have low back pain, mid back pain, lots of harmful things. So the point is that we need to work on it now. We need to work on becoming more flexible so that we can draw the shoulders back. We need to work on becoming stronger in our abdominal muscles and in our backs behind the shoulders so that we can maintain this good, healthy posture, get the head into good alignment over the spine so that we can continue to move around pain-free and do all our activities for the whole duration of our long lives. My name is Zalinda and I specialize in teaching yoga so that people with all kinds of bodies can participate and benefit. Let's get started. Begin in a comfortable standing position. Your feet can be together or apart. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Then lengthen your spine as much as you can. Reach up through the top of your head and relax your shoulders down. Start to pay attention to your breathing. In the yoga practice, we focus on breathing in and out through the nose, if possible, unless you're congested. And we try to breathe smoothly, both for the inhale and the exhale. So spend some time here. We'll do about three more breaths. All right, now let's start some moving. We're going to have a lot of emphasis on moving the arms in different ways because that helps to improve the mobility in your spine. And also we're gonna work on some strengthening toward the second half of the practice. So here we go with the upper body movement. Arms are right now down alongside your body. On an inhale, bring your arms out toward the sides and up. Turn your palms face in. Then exhale and bring your arms out and down. We're going to do this a few times. Inhale, arms move out and up, palms face in. Exhale, bring your arms out and down. Engage your abs a little bit, draw your belly button in. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, down, smooth movement, both for the inhale and exhale. Inhale, Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Keep your spine long and tall. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Fantastic. All right, take a little break from that. Now let's work on some forward folding just to stretch out the back of your body a little bit. So again, feet in a comfortable position. Inhale, bring your arms forward and up. This time your palms are facing forward. Then exhale, bend your knees, fold as much as you are comfortable, relax your neck. Then inhale, walk your way back up to standing upright. Exhale, 
relax your shoulders down. Here we go again. Inhale, arms forward and up to your comfort level. Exhale, fold. You can bend your knees, fold as much as is comfortable. Inhale, walk your way up. Exhale, shoulders, relax. We're gonna do four more. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk up. Exhale, shoulders, relax. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walk up. Exhale, shoulders, relax. Inhale. Exhale, fold as much as you're comfortable. Inhale, walk your way up. Exhale, shoulders, relax. Here's the last one. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk up. Exhale, shoulders, relax. Very good job. Take a moment to find your good posture again. Lengthen your spine and lengthen all the way up through the top of your head. Relax your shoulders. Spend a little bit of time breathing here again, long and smooth in and out through your nose if possible. We're doing a lot of repetition of movement today and the reason is that we're trying to improve our mobility in the upper back. So if we already are at a state where we're hunching like this and we find it difficult to find this mobility and open up the chest and lengthen up the spine, the best way to work on that is with gentle repetitive movement. So that's, that's why we're doing so many repetitions. All right, let's get going with our next sequence. Next, we're gonna work on warrior. And the way we do this one is we step the left foot forward and we step the right foot back. It doesn't have to be a super long stance. I would recommend that you keep some width between your feet so that you can be well balanced. Okay, we're gonna do some arm movements again here. On an inhale, you're gonna bend your front knee and also bring your arms out and back. Palms face forward here. Then exhale, straighten your front knee and bring your arms down. Inhale, front knee bends, arms go back. Exhale, knee straightens, arms come down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms move back. Exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale, shoulder blades draw toward each other. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Very nice. Go ahead and step your left foot back. And then step your right foot forward. Make sure that your stance is a comfortable length and is also wide enough that you feel well balanced. All right, here we go. On an inhale, bend your front knee. It's just going directly over your ankle. You don't have to bend it far and then sweep your arms back. Hopefully you can feel that strength between your shoulder blades and then exhale, arms come down. Inhale, knee bends, arms go back. Exhale, knee straightens, arms down. Inhale, exhale, three more. Smoothly inhale. Smoothly exhale, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Step your right foot back and find your good tall posture again. Lengthen all the way up through the top of your head, relax your shoulders. Find your breathing. Okay, now let's start to work on some side bending. Step your feet wide. Arms are down alongside you. On an inhale, stretch your arms out toward the sides. The palms are facing down. 
Then exhale, side bend toward your left. Your left hand's coming onto your left leg. Your right arm is stretching straight up. If it's comfortable, you can look up toward your right palm. Then inhale, come back up to the center. Then exhale over towards your right side. So this time, right hand comes to the right leg, left arm is up. And if it's comfortable, you can turn and look up toward your left palm. Inhale, come up to the center. And then exhale and bring your arms down alongside your body. That's one. Let's continue. Inhale, arm stretch out. Exhale, side bend left to your comfortable capacity. Inhale to the center. Exhale over toward the right side as much as you're comfortable. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms rest down. Inhale, try to keep your leg muscles strong here. Exhale, side bend left. Maybe look up toward your right palm. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right side. Maybe look up at the left palm. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms rest down. Let's do one more round. Inhale, arms stretch out. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, arms rest down. All right, go ahead and step your feet together. Let's come back to forward folding now. We did it before, we're gonna do it again. So on an inhale, bring your arms forward and up. This time, bring them a little bit wider. Palms are facing forward. Exhale, bend your knees, fold as much as you are comfortable. Then inhale, walk your way back up. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale, bring your arms forward and up to this wide position. Exhale, bend your knees, fold as much as you're comfortable. On an inhale, walk your way back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. Let's pause for a second here. If this version feels like the right amount of intensity for you, continue doing it in this way. I'm going to show you another version that you can try if you want to. It's a little bit more intense. All right, here we go. Inhale, arms forward and up to the wide position. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. You can either walk up or if you're interested in more intensity, you're going to inhale and come up and extend your arms up again to the wide position. Exhale, arms forward and down. So just pick your version. We'll continue. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk up or stretch your arms up. Exhale, arms forward and down. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Very good job. Take a little break here. Smooth out your breathing again. Find your tall posture. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in and out through your nose. Let's do about two or three breaths. When you're ready, we're gonna to move to lying down on the floor next. You can lie down with your legs extended or your knees bent. If you need a pillow behind your head, go ahead and grab that. When you get to your comfortable lying down position, go ahead and stretch your arms out toward the sides, relax your shoulders down toward the floor. And take a minute here for two or three long and smooth breaths in and out through your nose. OK, 
Okay, let's continue moving now. Let's stretch out the lower body a little bit. So you're gonna step your feet a bit wider. Knees are bent and feet are wide, and we're gonna keep the feet in this wide position. And then bring your knees all the way over toward the left side as far as they'll comfortably go. And then on an inhale, bring your knees back up to the center. Now to the right side, exhale, knees go toward the right. Inhale, knees come back up to the center. Go ahead and keep going over toward the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. You can continue at your own pace. While you're doing this, notice what you're feeling. Is there any tightness in your low back or in your hips or thighs? Sometimes we feel a lot of tightness in the sides of the thighs when we do this movement. Let's go ahead and do one more round. And so you'll end up completing the right side and then you can bring your knees back up to the center. After that, you can bring your feet a little narrower or even extend your legs if you prefer and bring your arms down alongside your body. Shoulders are relaxed down, palms are facing down. Try to make sure that your neck is also comfortable. All right, let's continue working on our movements to help improve your mobility in your upper back. We're gonna work one arm at a time. So on an inhale, slowly and smoothly, bring your left arm up toward the ceiling and back. And then exhale, the arm moves up toward the ceiling and back down by your hip. Now the right side, inhale, the arm moves up and back. Feel free to bend your elbow if needed. Exhale, arm moves up toward the ceiling and down by your hip. Slow and easy. On the left side, inhale, arm goes up and back. Exhale, up toward the ceiling and down. Right side, inhale, up and back. Exhale, up toward the ceiling and down. On the left side, inhale. Exhale. Right side, inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more round. Inhale, left arm up and back. Exhale up toward the ceiling and down. Now the right side, inhale, up and back. Exhale, up toward the ceiling and down. Next, let's work on some core strengthening and you're gonna keep your knees bent and your arms down alongside your body to start. And actually this sequence is a little bit complicated. So if you want, you can watch the first round and see how it goes. And then you can join me for the second round. All right, here we go. On an inhale, bring your arms up toward the ceiling and back. And then on exhale, bring your knees up toward the ceiling while you bring your arms down alongside your hips. Then inhale, feet go down while the arms go back. Exhale, the arms move up toward the ceiling and down. All right, pause for just a minute here. So what we're working on is core strengthening and it's your lower abdominal muscles here that are supporting your movement when you bring your legs up and also when you lower your legs down. And the idea is to go slowly and with control in both directions so that you can really work on those muscles. All right, let's go ahead and Begin again, so your arms are down alongside your hips. Inhale, bring your arms up and back. Exhale, bring your knees up while you bring your arms down. Inhale, feet go down while your arms go back. Then exhale, your arms go up toward the ceiling and down. Here we go again. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, knees up, arms down. 
Inhale, feet down, arms back. Exhale, just your arms up toward the ceiling and down. We're going to do two more rounds. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, knees up, arms down. Inhale, feet down, arms back. Exhale, just your arms up toward the ceiling and down. Last one. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, knees up while the arms come down. Inhale, feet down, arms back. Exhale, just your arms up toward the ceiling and down. All right, very good. If you found that that sequence was very strenuous, next time you do this practice, please work on lifting just one knee at a time. So on the first round, you'll bring the left knee up. And then on the second round, you can bring the right knee up and you can just alternate one side and the other. And then when you get strong enough that you feel comfortable bringing both knees up at the same time, then you can transition back to this version. Let's continue working on a little bit more core strengthening. This one is quite different. So we're gonna keep this current posture where the knees are bent, the feet are relatively close to each other. And for now, go ahead and bring your hands onto your hips so that you can just monitor them and kind of use your hands as a tool to make sure that your hips and your pelvis are staying as stable as possible. So what we'll do here is engage your abs by drawing your belly button in toward your spine and try to maintain this engagement while we challenge ourselves with a little tiny bit of leg movement. So engage your abs, keep them engaged, hands are on your hips. On an inhale, bring your left knee just a tiny bit, just maybe two or three inches out toward the side, and then exhale and bring the knee to the center. Check on your abs, are they still engaged? Now the right side, inhale, out toward the side, Exhale together, check on your abs again, re-engage. Now the left side, inhale out, exhale in. Right side, inhale out, exhale in. Check on your abs, left side, inhale out, exhale in, tiny movement. Right side, inhale out, exhale in one more round left side inhale out exhale in right side inhale out and exhale in very nice job take a break stretch your legs out stretch your arms out stretch out your abs all right good we're going to do one last movement to help stretch everything out so bend your knees again bring your arms down alongside your body palms face down on an inhale, bring your both arms up toward the ceiling and back. And at the same time, bring your knees wide. So left knee goes left, right knee goes right. Bottoms of your feet come together. Then exhale, bring the knees together and bring your arms back to their starting position. Here we go again. Inhale, knees wide, arms move back. Exhale, knees move together while the arms come down. Inhale, knees wide, arms back. Exhale, knees together, arms down. One more, inhale, knees wide, arms back. Exhale, knees together, arms down. Very nice. Very, very good work. So we're finished with all of our movements that we're going to do, but let's wrap up our practice with a bit of breathing. So find your comfortable lying down position. You could stretch your legs out if you want. You could keep your knees bent. I do recommend stretching your arms out toward the sides with your palms face up to encourage your shoulders to relax down toward the floor. Okay, once you establish your comfortable lying down position, we're going to stay here for four long, smooth breaths. Please try to breathe in and out through your nose. 
and try to breathe very smoothly. You can begin when you're ready. After you complete those four breaths, return to natural breathing and then take your time rolling onto one side and easing yourself up to a comfortable sitting position. Very good work. Thank you for being here and practicing with me today. I hope that you're feeling well and that your body is feeling comfortable after this yoga practice. I'd like to share a couple of notes with you about posture and yoga. Yoga can definitely help you improve your posture. The key is that you should practice consistently. You can continue working on this yoga practice every day if you'd like. You can do it for a week or a month or even three months. Um, do this yoga practice as long as you feel that it's providing benefit for you. At some point, when you feel like you're ready to take it to the next level, look around my channel, find another video that you can work on for some time. And if you have any questions about which video or any specific questions about your posture or yoga in general, I would love to hear from you in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning about different ways that you can work with me, please see the link in the description box below. You can learn about my live classes and private instruction, and you can also learn about my online community. And if you haven't already, please take a second to click the like button, the thumbs up, that really helps my video and it helps me a lot. I'll see you next time.